so we are set for the opening tip on a night in the ACC and both teams coming in with identical records of 10 and 13 Carolina three and nine in the ACC Childress their most prolific shooter that's for sure and nothing but net by Andrian White who hits about 39 percent out there and Demon Deacons just lost at Syracuse 75 to 73 they have a bunch of very close defeats Johnson let's fly and knocks in a three great success first Duke getting out in the open floor exploring transition Anthony nifty feed there and up and in it goes for Baycott who gets the first basket of the night for Carolina Wake Forest those turnovers have been an issue all season long Cole Anthony from 18 feet and all net patience you're Wake Forest, you got to find a way to get Saar back down in the post. He draws fouls. You want to challenge this Carolina front line. Childress right by everybody. Just kept on moving. Brooks with a touch. Wants to get in that lane and a little fall away. And that'll roll off the eye. But the tip is up and in by Baycott. For a team that can still do some damage. But it was the love of his teammates and his competitive spirit that made him want to come back. Well, they run the play for Saar, the seven-footer for the slam. His first basket. Pick and roll, one of the toughest to defend in the game. Saar is the dive guy. All alone, help side two. Not a lot falling right away for the Tar Heels. Saar trying to keep his balance. He does beautifully for two. Baycott and Saar, two guys giving great effort. Keeling getting in, short jumper. Yes, that'll rattle in. For Christian Keeling, his first basket. They're really humming. We're able to shoot around 50% for the game, 52% in that game, and it's because they were able to get some run outs and pursue some easy ones. That hasn't necessarily been the case so far here. Talk about an easy looking basket, Sean D. Brown. And to pick up back to back wins like that, the rivalry win, and then against Florida State, as that'll be slapped out by Sean D. Brown, very active defensively. This game is probably the closest he's been to healthy. We'll see how he performs. Jump shot on the way by Masood and all net. And this is the biggest lead of the ball game here for Wake. That's the next step in the development of Leaky Black. There are NBA scouts here to watch him tonight amongst others. If he can prove that he can knock down that outside shot with consistency, he becomes that much more dynamic. So Carolina has gone almost three and a half minutes since they last scored. And they're down suddenly by nine. And suddenly Keeling. Will drop in too. He's got four points. Let's see if Anthony starts to rock and roll now for North Carolina. That'll be swatted out of the sky. Well, Wake Forest, they can do that. Block and shots. Baycott gives it up for Anthony. Shot clock at three as he launches and hits. Now that he's more trusting of his teammates, it lifts this whole team up. White fires it up there, hit, and he made the shot. He hits the three-pointer and fouled on it, too. Goodness gracious. You and I will be there for that contest. Another one of the incredibly dangerous teams in this conference, Coach Max Cardinals. Coming up on five minutes to go in the half. Looking to get it inside and do for Baycott and the basket. It's big time. Got into a good space. Play Tech was looking there. Concerted effort to get inside touch. Terrific give inside. Childress finding Oguama. Hey, Jordi! Jordi! Play Tech, he gets two. Off the window, well run play by Roy Williams' team. Because of the great work from our audio team, you could hear Musias pleading with Sean D. Brown to get out. Miscommunication allows for the easy Tar Heels lay. A oh, great roll to the basket there by Sean D. Brown. Another assist for Children. Wake has hit their last seven shots. The step back for White. They finally miss one. And one. A determined effort by Sean D. Brown. And he'll be at the line. Musias to the baseline with a pull up. They'll get the second effort. They're getting great hustle out of that man. Oguama with the basket. Well, Brooks has gone back to the locker room, by the way. Here's Anthony swooping in and one. Jeremiah Francis back in the lineup for the Tar Heels. So as they lose one in Brooks, they gain another back in the lineup in Francis. Nice effort underneath by Walker Miller. 
Guam is setting the screen. White will launch it. Yes, a three-pointer. Tried to kick it. And the jump shot will rattle in. The final seconds here and a heave. And off the backboard almost went in. Childress draws the double. Nowhere to go. They trapped him. The jump shot all oh, knocked in beautifully by the hottest hand in White. Senior playing in his hometown. On the drive, a little floater and a pretty shot out the window. Going to get it there. Baycott with a miss. That'll trigger the break. On the move, Johnson. He's got two more. Baycott. Here's Anthony. Killing with a jumper. Got a good look. He buries that. A two-pointer. Eight assists so far tonight. Childress, the open jumper. Got it. A three. Very cautious. Put him on the bench to open up the second 20 minutes. Rebound punched out back to Anthony. Gilling wanting to shoot. He is their hot hand right now. North Carolina's got to try and speed it up. They got to play fast. Got to look for some easy early ones. Gilling from three. Yes. That's what Wake Forest does. They get to the free throw line. 25% of their production offensively comes from there. So they like to draw whistles. Off the inbounds, quick strike by Masood. In and out of the hands of Anthony. Taken back by Keeling. He'll go one on two, shred the D and lay it in. Long distance jumper around and out. Rebound tipped up and in. And down the lane, Oguama, who has really shown up big time tonight. In several phases of the game, he leads everybody in block shots tonight, too. Guam has been the best big on the floor of the season. Baycott to return it, got it. He's gotten a layup, but he's missed it. And poked away in a good defense by Shondi Brown. And Childress will not miss that one. See how two guys just following Cole Anthony's every move. It's going to be tipped in by Leaky Black. Nifty pass there by Anthony on a first shot. Identified the double and made passes. Guys just haven't helped him out by producing anything aside from Keel. Johnson rolling back inside. And Walker Miller there to swat that one out of play. Anthony trying to shred that D. Oh, what a tough shot he made it. He'll be at the line. Knocked away, stolen by Black. What a play. Baycott will lay that one up and in. He can't hit that from three-point land. Door opening up here for Anthony down the lane. Yes, with the left hand. And now it's suddenly a 10-point game.